So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And our live game is Juventus against Paris Saint-Germain. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Look at them now. things running so Jim tell me this who are you looking for in particular here I'm gonna pick a defender Thiago Silva uh, a natural athlete for me with all the characteristics to be at the top of his trade he's a natural leader too and sets an example in, in showing great discipline uh, arguably the world's best yeah I must agree especially in view of his ability to lead and organize the defense Gone for a throw in. Thiago Motta. Urie. Lucas Moura. Does not like coming off second best. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Matuidi. It's Di Maria. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Thiago Motta. Aurier. Matuidi. Aurier. It's a loose ball. That's Mandzukic. It's come loose. Mandzukic. Mandzukic. And back out it comes. It's Papa! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Aurier. towards the front Marquisio it's a long forward pass tries a through ball Mandzukic goal Juventus yeah I love the finish but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer I think he would have been flagged offside and I think you have to praise them all round on that one from the pass and the finish. Juventus draw first blood here. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Di Maria. Juventus scoring close to half-time to give them a 1-0 lead. And he's onside! Daniel Alves pumps it into the area. He couldn't get the direction he needed. Oh, they really wanted that. There's so many players in the box. Everyone's committed to attack now. And the 
that'll be the final action of the first half. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Juventus, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. That gets things going for the second half. Juventus carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Yeah, he's fouled him there. David Luiz. And it's Mandzukic. There are a few waiting for it. He'll have it in! Balls come loose and the chase is on. Time to deliver. Back in once more. And through to the goalkeeper. Juventus just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. Lucas Mora. Matuidi. Di Maria. Matuidi. Marco Verratti. Marquisio did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Oh, good interception. Juventus yet to make a change here. Matuidi has got himself a free kick. Cavani. Di Maria. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Well positioned to make that interception. Marco Verratti. Aurier. It's Lucas Mora. It's come loose. Ball's loose, and he's after it. Now the pass. Lucas Mora. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Evra passes it through. Well, they could break here. In comes the corner. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Still just that single goal, and we are nearly done. Kuzawa. That'll be a throw. Cavani. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Looks like a good ball through. And he's there to cut it out. Marco Verratti. Into stoppage time, whistle due any moment. It's a loose ball. Di Maria. Kuzawa. They really need to start moving the ball forward with pace at this late stage of the game. There is the final whistle. Juventus, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. But well, you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline to see the whole thing through. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.